Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily, where I talk about all of my knitting and cross stitch that I have been working on. This episode you have stumbled across a knitting episode. I have a lot of finished objects to show you and just one work in progress, which is quite different than the way these episodes normally go but I'm excited to have a lot of stuff that I've finished. So before we jump on in, I just want to tell you where you can find me on the internet. The first is on Instagram at birch.and.lily, and the second is on Ravelry at Birch and Lily. So like I said, I have lots of stuff to show you guys that I've finished this episode. I think I forgot to say the date. It is August 31st, 2020. I have a lot of finished. Christmas presents, I guess is the best way to put it. Some stuff for knit along, test knit. Let's just jump into it. So the first project that I finished is my pair of Venus socks by Sari Nordlin. This uh, pair of socks I was knitting up as a part of a knit along that Sari was running all summer. There were four different socks that you had to knit for it. She released a new pattern every month of the summer, and if you knit all of them, you could enter them into a giveaway. So today is the very last day to enter them, so I finished these socks in time, and I love them so much. They're so pretty. So they have this beautiful lace pattern, and then you alternate between the three different colors. You don't have to do this. You can totally knit these with just one skein of yarn. This was using scraps, which I really love. Um, I definitely want to knit a couple more pairs of these to use up some of the yarn I have kicking around. Um, but yeah, I cast on 60 stitches for these socks. It is the only size that the pattern has available. Um, you could add another pattern repeat around um, to make it a little bit bigger, or you could go up a needle size. Honestly, these are pretty stretchy, but then I also have pretty small feet. So if you don't fit that size, you might have to do some adjusting. 60 stitches, the pattern does call for a one by one rib. I substituted in a one by one twisted rib. I knit these up on 2.25 millimeter US one needles. Um, and I guess I would have done the pattern repeat four times before I put in my slip stitch heel flap and gusset and then just kept going until I was ready for the toe and I just did a typical wedge toe for this which is what the pattern calls for. Um, I did use Hey Sister Yarn Co on their Alonzi base for this. It's a 7525. Hey Sister is not dyeing yarn anymore but uh, just so you know what base I used and these were from their Princess Bride Club. This blue is Shrieking Eels, the orange here is Fire Swamp, and this light cream color is the Brute Squad. So these are all finished and I'm really, really excited to have them done. And like I said, definitely going to be knitting another pair or two of these. Uh, this next finished object that I have you haven't seen in a while, they're still a little damp, but um, they'll be fine to show you guys and then I'll put them back on their blockers. But this is a test knit that I was doing for Lindsay Fowler of Lost and Fond. These are the Hibernation House socks. Um, I will not be giving too much information away on these just because the pattern has not released yet and it won't be releasing for a little bit. Um, but I do want to show them to you really quick. So these are the Hibernation House socks. They're a cute little like slipper type sock. Um, I did knit these on my typical 2.25 millimeter US one needles. And the mohair that I used is from Mulberry Fiber Co. their Berry Mohair Base in the color Rhubarb Pie. And this uh, main color here is a club colorway from Mulberry Fiber Co. called Flower Shop. So that's all I'm going to say about these because I don't want to give away too much information, but I'm really excited to have these done. And I'm glad the weather's getting colder because that means I can wear them. Next finished object is something I've also been working on for quite some time. These socks are going into my Christmas gift box of socks. Basically, they're a Christmas gift that's now done. Um, these are the Fazalis socks. It is a pattern by Elena Potemkina. You can find it in the 52 Weeks of Socks book by Lina Magazine. And they're done. So... Let's see, this yarn is from Legacy Fiber Arts on their Steel Toes base. 
I think that is also a 75-25. Feels like one. Don't have the ball here to check, but it feels like a 75-25 to me. Um, and it did come with this cream mini as well because it was a sock set. Um, this colorway is called Sally. I believe it is one of their Halloween colorways, so it may be coming back to their shop pretty soon. Um, and yeah, what did I do? I cast on 64 stitches for these on 2.25 millimeter needles. Let me set one sock down. Um, so these socks don't have a cuff to them. They go straight into the lace and then work their way down. There's some wrapped stitches in here, two different types of wrapped stitches and lots of twisted rib in places. I'm sure you can see it there. Lots of lace. I'm going to twist these so you can see the front because the toe is really neat on these socks. So you have the lace and it goes straight into, here we'll hold it this way, it goes straight into the twisted rib on the toe and it continues all the way onto the toe so you decrease while knitting the twisted rib still, which is really neat. I really enjoyed knitting these. Um, the repeat for them is insanely long. I think it's like 48 rows. Um, so you definitely have to have the pattern with you at all times, but it's so pretty. So yeah, like I said, there's no ribbing. Um, the toe has the twisted rib on it. And then the whole heel flap is also a twisted rib, just with a typical heel turn. So I know who these are going to already. She watches sometimes, so I'm not going to say, but now that I said that, she probably knows they're for her. Um, but I'm really glad that these are done. I've been working on them for quite a while, um, and they're ready to gift at Christmas. That leaves me with two more pairs of socks to finish for Christmas. My husband's, and then one other that I will show you that I've started. Um, and then after that, I might knit some more things, but at least everyone has their one pair of socks done and I can be happy with that. So I'm feeling really accomplished this year. It's pretty awesome. And I have one final finished object. I'm really excited to show these to you guys. They blew up on Instagram when I posted them. These are my perfect newborn socks. It is a pattern by Tabby Gandhi of A Sister Yarn Co. It is a free pattern that's available on Ravelry, so if you like it, you can definitely knit yourself up a pair. These are my perfect newborn socks. They're so cute, oh my goodness. So I did end up using some of my scraps from my Hibernation House socks. This is the Flower Shop colorway. And look at them. I cast on 60, no, not 60, 32 stitches for these. And then just follow the pattern exactly as it calls for. Um, and yeah, they're so tiny and so cute. I really don't know what else to say. The pattern, like I said, is free. It's really straightforward and easy. If you are curious about these blockers, I believe Tabby still has these for sale in her Etsy shop. I will double check when I'm writing up the show notes and if they are there I will make sure that it is linked down below with the information for these socks. Um, I always try to give you guys all the information that I can so definitely check down below if you're interested in these little guys. They're pretty cute. They, I don't, you really don't need to block baby socks but I mostly just like them for the photos because that is really cute. So, yeah, these ones have cables. I'm definitely going to be knitting up a couple more pairs. Um, I'm going to be an auntie at the end of October. That's when the due date is, so I definitely want my little niece to have a whole bunch of hand-knit socks and stuff. So, I probably, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, every time I finish a pair of socks or some project, use that yarn to knit up a pair of baby socks, because they're fast. I had these done in like, two, three hours. It, they really didn't take long. It was one day split up throughout the day. So they're definitely a fast project. Um, so I think I'll need a couple newborn ones. And then the pattern itself only comes with newborn sizing. Um, but I do have some other patterns saved that have other sizes. So toddler and stuff. So I might just adjust 
this pattern using those stitch counts, if that makes sense. So you will be seeing more tiny socks. I can promise you that. So that is it for all of my finished objects. I told you there were a lot, and of course they're all socks. <laughs> um, and I do have one pair of socks that I just cast on. They are in this bag from Birch Grove. And I am using yarn from Fiber Story. This skein of yarn I purchased at uh, Fiber Festival. It is like a one of a kind skein, but it's so pretty. It is on their Fave Sock base, which is a 100% Superwash Merino base. And I am knitting the Nemesis socks. It's a pattern by Ambrose Smith. And that is what I have so far. I'm not sure how long I'm going to make the leg. I need to sit down and think that through because these are a gift. Um, but that is what I have so far. So I cast on 64 stitches on 2.25 millimeter needles. I did 15 rows of 2x2 two two twisted ribbing and then moved into the pattern. The whole sock is ribbed. I thought that was a good choice because I've never knit this person's socks before. Um, and ribbing always makes them a little bit more forgiving. So it's a really easy pattern. If you are newer to socks or newer to pattern socks, this would definitely be a good starting point. Yeah, so that is pretty much all I have to say about those. Um, they should be done pretty relatively quickly. The recipient I think has an eight and a half size foot. I need to double check. It was a long time since they told me their foot size, but yeah. And other than that, I really, that's, I was working so hard to get all of those other socks and stuff finished that this is the only other project that I've worked on the past couple weeks. I really want to pull my sweater out again now that I have a lot of that gift knitting done. I do need to work on my husband's socks because I know if I wait too long, I will be bored <laughs> and they'll never get done. And yeah, other than that. Lots of knitting, lots of cross stitch. Weather's getting colder. It's perfect knitting weather now. Um, yeah, we'll see what I do in the next couple weeks. So that is a nice short episode for you guys. That's all I have to show you. Um, if you're joining me for the first time, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this whole episode. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you would consider doing so as well. You can also click the little bell icon, that's word. You can click the little bell icon down below to get notifications when I upload a new video. Doing both of those things helps me a lot. It gets my videos out there to other people. Um, if you didn't know, I upload a new video every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I alternate between knitting and cross stitch videos. And as always as well, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below. I would love to help you out. So thank you so much for coming and joining me. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope I will see you soon. Bye.